pony. An hour per layer. That's 15 hours of... 15 hours for cake? Jesus, Pinky, are you making it out of drywall? Gummy, could you take over for a bit? Hopefully this will be quick. Why do I have a sneaking suspicion that while Pinkie Pie's away, Gummy's gonna create the greatest culinary masterpiece this side of Equestria? The map is summoning you to Griffinstone. Oh boy, we finally get to use the Royal Friendship Castle coffee table again. And I was lucky enough to get a free bundle of DLC side quests with my purchase. In ancient times, Griffins were known to be as greedy as dragons, but all that changed when King Grover found the mysterious golden idol of Boreas. Idol of Boreas? Well, it says here that Boreas is the name of the Greek god of the north winds, but I don't know what that has anything to do with- Golden sunsets, blown across the mountains by the north winds. Huh. Well played, Hasbro. That, that, that's actually really clever. If the map wanted me to go to the coolest kingdom in all of Equestria and tour the palace and see the actual idol that unites an entire species, which would be super amazing, I'm sure it would have said so. Man, Twilight, you gotta hire like a maid service or something around here because you are just spilling salt all over this table. Wait a minute, is that cereal? Why in the world would a pony decide to snack on cereal? And what kind of cereal do ponies even eat anyways? What, did they just throw a bunch of vegetables into a box and call it a breakfast? Like, like, like a big old box of veggios? It's like Twilight herself in book form. Always carry plenty of bits. Wow, Rainbow Dash, that, that's actually a really good impersonation of Twilight. Tell me, have you ever considered doing an abridged series? Find out anything. Plus, as a bonus, there's a statue of King Grover outside. <laughs> photo op! I'm sorry, did you just say photo op? Are you really trying to tell me that you want them to take a selfie with a statue? But Steve, what's wrong with taking selfies? Everything. Hello, Gilda. Dash. Donkey! Don't tell me you really believe in that thing. You'd better believe in it. Okay, I know he's old and he probably can't move all that much, but literal cobwebs formed around him. Like, how long has he been sitting in that position? But Aranasi managed to get away with the idol. They say when our treasure fell into the abysmal abyss, our pride went with it. But wait, isn't that supposed to be a good thing? I mean, pride is one of the seven deadly sins, so wouldn't you want to have less pride and not more of it? Typical pony hero complex. None of us care about that dumb old idol. Uh, objection? Grandpa Gruff obviously cares about the idol. I mean, otherwise he wouldn't have come out of his cuckoo clock style house to tell you the story. Actually, now that I say that out loud, it kind of sounds like Grandpa Gruff might actually be the crazy old kook of the town. What is this place?! You're welcome to leave at any time! Mmm, man, Gilda is just cracking that whip hard on Pinky. Just, just crack it! Crack that whip! Oh, 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 that, that is a bad sound. That's a sound so bad that it gave me a toothache. Ugh. It's missing one important ingredient. Don't tell me. Friendship. Actually, Gilda, if you look at the recipe, it actually does call for friendship. Two cups of it, actually. And if you really want your scones to have that extra oomph, might I recommend you going organic? Get back here! Yeah? Can you throw down a rope or something? Very poor choice of words. <laughs> My name is Alamaspi, King of Kings. Look into my eye, ye mighty Anders. Apology accepted. And I'm just sorry we didn't get your idol back. But Rainbow Dash, you are my idol. I built a shrine in your image. I worship you. Please notice me, senpai. Whoa, Pinky. That was... really sappy. Of course it was sappy, Rainbow Dash. Pinky's body is basically 90% syrup. But yeah, it was okay episode.